check on our weather for this Monday morning. And we want to take you, uh, we're not going outside. I <laughs> thought we were going to take you up to Boone right now. Meteorologist Ted Faden here. Uh, we are going to warm up this week. That's some yeah, good I'm news. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, we still have to get through the cold this morning, but when you see 60s in there in the forecast for the seven day, it's great compared to the teens we were looking oh, at man. last week. So. It's a Monday. We got to give the everyone something to look yeah, forward right. to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'd say we earned it. This morning, you still want to bundle up as we have some of those cold conditions out there. This is a live look over King Street in Boone, where temperatures are in the low 20s early this morning. So certainly still holding on to those conditions. And let me throw the temperature up there. You can see where we are in the low 20s to get your day started for King Street in Boone. That's why you want to bundle up regardless, even though we have a slightly warmer start to the day. 29 degrees are in and around the Queen City. We're at 28 for Concord Monroe, 26 over towards Auburn tomorrow. Low 20s towards Salisbury. Morganton coming in at 27 degrees. Now highs are going to make a run to near normal for this time of year. Typically we get into the mid 50s for the end of January and that's what we're making a run for. 54 towards Charlotte, Concord, 55 Monroe, 45 and 43 for Boone and Jefferson respectively. I think we're going to hold on to the 40s for our higher elevations, which makes actually for a perfect time and perfect day to take the kids out to the playground. I think noon to 3 p.m. is going to be the window where you have the most fun and see the most warm and pleasant conditions with a mix of sun and clouds out there. But we have the thin cloud cover overhead getting ready for sunrise here in about an hour and a half or just shy of an hour. This is going to be the, uh, the setup that we have for today as high pressure is influencing that forecast, getting us into the mix of sun and clouds and then gradually warming up as the week continues. This is what we're watching for late in the week, though. Cold front with the low pressure system approaches, giving us the rain chances on Thursday and into your Friday. Friday having the better chance of rain heading into the weekend. By the time we get to Friday afternoon, could really see some of those scattered showers and eventually tapering off as we head into Saturday morning. A little bit of a transition into some cooler conditions on the back end of that. Anything we get is going to be an improvement, especially with the uh, drought conditions, because we've had the severe drought that we finished off the, tw the year 2021 with. We've rebounded since and still getting a little bit of those rebounding uh, conditions, too, with when it comes to the drought monitor here heading into your second month of the year. So Thursday and Friday are going to bring the 30% bring the and 60% chance of wet weather. That's all rain, by the way, because the temperatures are just simply going to be way too warm. Same goes for our Mountain County forecast. The mountain's going to be peaking in the 40s and 50s with overnight lows in the 20s and 30s. Even Thursday night into your Friday, only dropping down into the upper 40s. And that's looking like just rain for the second half of the week as well. So your forecast dropping down into the upper 20s overnight in and around the Queen City. Highs get into the 50s, eventually 60s. But by the time we get to Thursday, Thursday night into Friday is going to be warmer than what today reaches. Only dropping down into the mid 50s overnight. And then there's the chillier conditions that approach Saturday into Sunday. Highs limited to the 40s and near 50. Jason.